NTI day number 30, fifth grade social studies. Reconstruction. Build on what you know. Have you ever had a moment when you knew that your life had changed forever? That is, the, that is a turning point. The Civil War was, has it, was a turning point for the United States. After the war, the nation would never be the same again. Plans for Reconstruction. President Lincoln and Congress disagreed about how to rebuild the South. As the Civil War ended, Americans faced a great challenge. When the South tried to leave the Union, the nation had nearly split apart. During Reconstruction, the country had to be reunited. The period when the South rejoined the Union is called Reconstruction. Reconstruction was a difficult time. Americans could not agree on how to bring the South back into the Union. Some wanted to make it easy for Southern states to rejoin. They hoped the nation would, would be almost the way it had been before the war. Many Northerners felt differently. They were bitter about the war and blamed the South for it. Some of them wanted to use Reconstruction to punish the South. And there's President Lincoln. Saving the Union was President Lincoln's greatest concern. He wanted to reunite the nation quickly. President Lincoln did not want to punish the South. He used Northerners to forget their anger. Lincoln said, with malice, which means meanness, toward none, with charity for all, let us strive or let, let us strive on or try to finish the work we are in to bind up the nation's wounds. Lincoln planned to set to let the defeated states set up new gov state governments and rejoin the Union quickly. Many people disagreed with Lincoln, especially the radical Republicans. These senators and representatives wanted great change, wanted to greatly change the South. For example, they hoped to, re, to use Reconstruction to protect the rights of African Americans. Because they disagreed with the president, Republicans in Congress wanted to control Reconstruction. Lincoln's death. Before Lincoln and Congress could agree on a plan, disaster struck. On the evening of April 14, 1865, Lincoln went to, play, went to a play at Ford Cedar in Washington. John Wilkes Booth, an actor, crept up behind Lincoln. Booth supported the Confederacy and was angry about the South's defeat. He pulled out a gun and shot the, pres and shot the president. Abraham Lincoln died the next day. Lincoln's assassination shocked the nation. Assassin assassination is the murder of an important leader. Lincoln had become a hero to many. His death filled them with sadness. They would, they would miss his leadership during difficult years of Reconstruction. And here's a, a picture of a, the funeral train going through D.C. after Lincoln died. Reconstruction. Main idea. Congress took control of Reconstruction from President Andrew Johnson. After Lincoln's death, Vice President Andrew Johnson of Tennessee became President Johnson, but Lincoln's plan for Reconstruction into action in 1865. The, Southerners, the Southern states quickly set up new governments. The, gov the federal government forced them to abolish slavery in their state constitutions. At the same time, though, most southern states passed harsh laws called Black Codes. The Black Codes limited the rights of former slaves to travel, vote, and work in certain areas. Radical Republicans in Congress were unhappy about the Black Codes. President Johnson upset them more by allowing Southern states to elect former Confederate leaders to Congress. Congress fought back. Members voted not to let the new Southern representatives join Congress. They passed a law to protect the rights of freedom who were, I'm sorry, protect the rights of freed men who were the people freed from slavery. Congress also created Freedmen's Bureau the Freedmen's Bureau provided food, clothing, medical care, and legal advice to poor blacks and whites. It set up hospitals, 
in schools and found jobs for many. Okay, so this will have to go back and forth. Maybe not, let's see if I can see the pictures. Hold on one second. All right, so number one, students attend a new school that was opened by the Freedmen's Bureau. So here you go, here's students. The radical party impeached um, President, the radical Republicans impeached President Johnson. African Americans vote for the very first time. Here they are voting. And then African Americans serve in Congress. Congress takes control. In 1867, Congress began its own reconstruction plan. It put the South under military rule. Soldiers from the National Army marched into the region. When they arrived, they forced Southerner states to obey Congress. The states had to allow all men, including blacks, to vote. After taking over Reconstruction, Congress tried to remove President Johnson. In 1868, the House of Representatives voted to impeach Johnson. To impeach means to charge the government official with a crime. They accused him of breaking one of their new laws. Congress almost forced Johnson out of office, but they did not succeed. He finished his presidency. Carpetbaggers and scallywags. Some Southerners supported the Republicans during Reconstruction. Those Southerners were very unpopular in the South. Southerners who helped the government during Reconstruction were known as scallywags. Scallywag was a slang word for an old, worthless horse. Many Northerners traveled South during Reconstruction. Some wanted to help rebuild the South, but others just wanted to make money. These people were known as carpetbaggers because they often carried suitcases made of carpet material. Southerners disliked carpetbaggers and did not want them there. The Constitution changes. Main idea, the Congress changed the Constitution to protect the rights of African Americans. During Reconstruction, Congress created three new amendments to the Constitution. The new amendment gave the national government more power over the states. They also protected the rights of African Americans. The first of the new amendments, the 13th Amendment, ended slavery throughout the United States. In 1865, the states ratified the amendment, which means they approved it. Black code still eliminated the rights of African Americans. To protect those rights, Congress passed the 14th Amendment, which gave citizenship to African Americans. It said that a citizen's life, liberty, or property cannot be taken away without a fair trial. This is called due process of law. It is also said that all citizens must be treated equally under the law. Almost every Southerner state refused to ratify the 14th Amendment. They did not want the national government to interfere with their state laws. Congress declared that Southern states had to ratify the 14th Amendment to rejoin the Union. The states then agreed to, demand, to the demands of Congress. In 1870, Congress passed the 15th Amendment, guaranteeing African-American men the right to vote. The 15th Amendment had no effect right away. Southern, I'm sorry, African-American men taking part in government. Religious leaders, former soldiers, and others ran for office. Some became leaders in a community and state government. Many African-Americans served in state legislators. They worked to create the first public schools for whites and blacks in the South. 16 African Americans joined the United States Congress. Blanche Bruce and Herman Revels of Mississippi became two of the first black senators. 
So the 13th Amendment declared that slavery would not be allowed to exist in the United States. It ended the long argument in the United States over whether slavery should be legal. The 14th Amendment declared that the states could not limit the rights of citizens. States could not take away life, liberty, or property without due process of law or deny equal protection of the law. 15th Amendment gave all men the right to vote, no matter what their skin color was or if they had been enslaved. Women were still not allowed to vote until 1920. The struggle with the rights continued. The amendments passed during the Reconstruction helped all Americans. They protected people's rights and made laws fair. For example, the 14th Amendment required both the federal and the state governments to treat all citizens equally and fairly. The amendments, however, did not solve all the nation's problems. Some people, both in the North and in the South, did not want African Americans to vote or have equal rights. Sometimes laws protecting rights were ignored. The struggle of, the equal of equality would continue for African Americans. Why did Congress pass the 14th Amendment? To protect African Americans from black codes and assure equal treatment. Some lesson summary. Congress and President Lincoln had different plans for reconstruction. President Lincoln was assassinated just after the war ended. Congress took control of reconstruction from President Johnson and three important amendments were ratified during the reconstruction. Okay, here are some questions. After the Civil War, President Lincoln wanted A, Union states to set up a new government, or D, defeated Confederate states to set up new governments and rejoin the Union quickly. Number two, how did the radical Republicans want to change the South? G, they wanted to protect the rights of African Americans, or H, they wanted to pass the Black Codes. Number three, which constitution ended slavery? I'm sorry, which constitutional amendment ended slavery? The 13th Amendment or D, the 14th Amendment? Number four, what did black codes do? F, they limited the rights of African Americans to travel, vote, and work. Or G, they protected the rights of African Americans. Number five, which amendment did Southern states have to ratify to rejoin the Union? B, the 14th Amendment, which gave full citizenship to African Americans, or C, the 15th Amendment, which gave African American men the right to vote.